Udu CRM tutorial. How to use Udu CRM step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Udu CRM. So this is going to be a step by step tutorial. We're going to break down everything that you need to know when you're getting started and how you can get started with your own business setup on Udu. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to Udu.com. Once you do, click on start now, it's free, or just click on sign in on the top right. And from here, you're going to choose what kind of applications you will be requiring. So let's say I want a CRM, I want eSign. Now eSign is a premium feature, you will see, they will automatically show me the premium feature option. Then let's say I also want email marketing, SMS, just email marketing, employees, attendees, just employees. And then other than that, let's say I also want e-commerce and website features. So now I have these six applications. You can customize this to your personal preferences on to what your business requires. Let's say your business doesn't require e-sign, you can remove that. If you already have a website in e-commerce, you can remove that as well. So this is just upon your personal preferences on how you want to get started with Udu. We are going to be focusing on the CRM. So I'm only going to be adding the CRM over here, as well as any other tools like email marketing. I think it goes usually hand in hand with CRM. So I'm going to be showing that as well. And then just click on continue. Once you click on continue, you can enter your first and last name and your company name and then your phone number and then your employee size to create your account. I will get back to you guys in a second once I complete my registration. Now, as you guys can see over here, our registration has been completed and our Udu CRM trial has now begun. Now, one thing to note is that Udu's pricing is going to vary depending on the number of apps you use. So you guys can see we have pending activation right now. And to do a complete activation, you have to go into your email and then go into Udu, click on activate your database. And once you've done that, you can proceed with your email address and sign into your account over here. And once you do that, your account creation for your CRM will be completed. Now, once you've done that, you can invite people such as your employees or colleagues, but we're going to set up our CRM first. Now, once you have completed your sign up, you're going to click on the CRM on the section over here. And from here, you can get started with building a organization, a person, or, you know, any other info that you want to insert. They're going to add, you know, a basic section for you to get started with. This is just a getting started section with Udu. Now we're going to go ahead and actually, you know, customize this with our own personal preferences. So I'm just going to get the onboarding done. And now from here, we can get started with Udu CRM. So if you go into CRM, you will see in your CRM, you're going to have a basic sales section where you can go into pipeline. Now you can build a pipeline to automate your sales or your deals or your customer relationship or ticketing systems. So you guys can see on the top, you have a pipeline section. Below that, you have activities, teams, and then customers. If you go into customers, you will see yourself as well as your company as a customer. After that, you have the reporting functions, which include your pipelines, as well as forecast leads and activities. And then you have your basic configuration, such as your settings for your CRM and general settings as well. So in your CRM, you can choose to add a qualification step before the creation of a lead. Then you can also add recurring revenues. So you can add a revenue that you are going to be receiving every month. You can make it a recurring revenue. You also have multi-teams where you can assign more than one person into a singular sales team. Then you also have predictive lead sourcing. So in the predictive lead sourcing, you have a success rate, which will be based upon the stage, phone quality, and email quality for the lead as it is created. 
and this can just help you in building probabilities. After that, you have your rule-based assignments where you can assign leads based upon certain rules. So if a particular lead is valued over 100K, then it's meant to be assigned to me, or if it's something that is below $1,000, maybe it would automatically be assigned to one of the team members. Now, below that, we have lead generation, and in lead generation, we have company data, visits to leads, and lead mining options. And I think I'm going to leave these settings now and click on save on the top right. Once we have done that, we can go into our actual sales pipeline, and I can click on pipeline over here. Now to get started, I will start building my leads. So on the top, you have different sections. So you have a new qualified proposition and one, and then you can build your own lead stage as well. So let's say we have contacted and I'll add that as a stage. And I want the stage to be the second stage that is present after the new stage. And you can set different settings as well and as well as automations. So whenever a lead is moved from contacted to qualified, then you can add a automation to be notified as well. And this is just a basic Kanban view. You can also do list views, calendar views from the top right, pivot views, charts, maps, and activity based views. Now let's get into actually setting up our leads. So to set up our leads, what we're going to do is we are going to go into the top left and click on new and then start adding a organization or a person or a contact so you guys can see i already have you know myself added and we can search for a contact or we can just directly move into the opportunity so let's say the opportunity is to builders deal let's say we have a builders deal and then we have the email address of the particular person, the phone number, and the expected revenue this will generate. So we can insert that over here, like so. And then we can enter the star rating as well. So how, how much of a priority is this particular organization or contact? Now, I can add the default person or salesperson to a particular opportunity as well. You can click on edit over here to add further information about a particular deal or lead. Now you guys can see from here, you can change the customer obviously, but the salesperson has been assigned to myself. I can add other salespeople as well. And you also can insert tags to further make it easier for you to find a particular lead. Now in our pipeline, let's say now this has been contacted. Now, once you go into the contact detection, you will be able to go into your reporting functions and be able to see how many deals you were contacting, how many new leads did you have, how many did you contact, how many were qualified. Now, one thing to note is that always go into your teams and customer section first and add your customers, which will be the leads that you have. You can add them in the form of an individual or a company as well. And you can add all of your information about the sales internal notes as well as contact info that might be related to that particular customer. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.